My name is John Brophy. I work at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, uh, and I've been there since 1985, working on the development of electric propulsion systems for spacecraft for uh, deep space exploration. So ion propulsion is a way of using a plasma to create charged particles, and then you extract those charged particles through an electric field and accelerate them out of the thruster at a very high speed. And by extracting those ions out of the plasma, it pushes the spacecraft in the other direction. A plasma-driven ion thruster tends to be the most fuel-efficient rocket engine uh, ever developed. So Werner von Braun said in 1947 that he wouldn't be surprised if we flew humans to Mars using electric propulsion. That was in 1947. Now the current technology uh, of choice for sending humans to Mars whenever we get around to doing that is what's called a SEPCHEM hybrid. So this is a hybrid propulsion system that's mostly solar electric propulsion with a little bit of chemical propulsion. And if you do that, that turns out to be the most efficient way to get to Mars. So you can get to Mars with trip times that are about the same as going with all chemical propulsion, but with the enormous mass savings that you get with electric propulsion. Some of the missions that solar electric propulsion has already been used for, uh, from a NASA standpoint, the first one was uh, called Deep Space One, and that was a demonstration of this technology. Electric propulsion systems have to run for a very long time, typically thousands of hours, and that's much different than a chemical rocket that typically burns for a few minutes and then you coast. NASA then selected the Dawn mission. Dawn was a about a half a billion dollar mission to rendezvous with the two largest main belt asteroids. So one is the giant asteroid called Vesta, and the other is a dwarf planet called Ceres. The ion propulsion system on the Dawn spacecraft has now operated for a little over 50,000 hours and has provided a spacecraft velocity change of over 11 kilometers per second. That's more velocity change for the spacecraft than the launch vehicle put into the spacecraft to get the mission started. The future is bright for not just gridded ion thrusters, but for the type of thrusters that came originally developed in the Soviet Union, the Hull thrusters, a whole variety of electric propulsion types. And the reason the future is bright is because, as we said earlier, space is big, it's really hard to get around, and so you need a variety of advanced propulsion capabilities. It's almost certain that humanity will move out into the solar system, and that move out into the solar system will change the course of history and it will be enabled by electric propulsion, which is enabled um, by plasma physics. <laughs>